Don't tell the elf, but we're going to be putting some paint on her today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. This is the elf from Hero Quest, a board game, and she is primed with Army Painter's Matt White. We're going to be starting off with a little bit of elven flesh from the Army Painter. I also actually uh, lightened this down a bit with a little bit of matte white. I think one drop per three drops, so like a one to three ratio. And just because it was a little yellowish and I really wanted her skin to be pale. And yes, there's the skin tones from the Army Painter that could have maybe had this tone, but I really wanted sort of like that yellowish anyways effect. I didn't see anything like that. So this turns out perfect the way I want it. Now I mixed up some dark sky and some oozing purple from the Army Painter. Now, you're going to say, why? Well, it's because her cape was like a purplish blue hint, and I couldn't find that color I wanted. And then when I mixed these two together, for some reason that dark sky was like watered down, and even though I'm going to use it later on on something else, it's still, and it, it was perfect. It came out like, look at this, it's going on almost like a, like a wash, like a contrast. Uh, just a little bit thicker and it gives the highlight of that white still and it's just perfect I loved it anyway yeah so oozing purple and some dark sky together who would have thought it she also has like these feather like um, things going around her waist so you're gonna want to paint those as well in the same color uh, like I said if you have, don't have a purplish blue color I mean you can invent it like I did it comes out pretty nice anyways right All right, now I'm gonna use that dark sky on its own, on her boots. Look at how vibrant blue that is. Like I was expecting dark sky, like dark blue. And uh, sometimes the bottle just misrepresents what's actually in there, but it actually gives it like as if it was like a blue armored boot, uh, almost metallic-like, but it, and it ends up being that her boots are just like a little bit nicer than what they could have turned out with just like the mix again. I didn't want to have the same blue everywhere again, so at least this dark sky just on its own looks really good. And like you can see, it is pretty thin. So, and I don't put a second layer on, it's just, it does perfectly the job that I wanted to, not being too thick so that we see the details still. Plus we're gonna be adding some details later on on those boots too, so. All right, we're gonna be moving on now to Cultist Robe. This is like a dark green color and this is going to be for her I guess leather armor uh, so she's got these like chainmail looking armor but it's not chainmail it's just like leather armor that's underneath it's really hard to get to in some spots uh, and there's also that like strap thing dangling in front of her with the, the, the elvish runes on it or something like that I have no idea what's on it but anyways uh, there and there's some like her arm braces too she has some of the green leather on that as well so you don't want to miss that and no matter how much i don't want to use this color all the time on pouches and belts leather brown is your go-to color it's got that perfect light brown uh leather feeling to it it just works on pouches and belts i mean what else are you gonna do right and you can use some other kinds of browns if you want but this one is just light and she's an elf i want to keep it light on the table i didn't want too dark you know those boots are pretty dark but anyways they're 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 flashy <laughs> all right we're moving on to some ghoul gray for her hair this is a unique color from the army painters D, &D range uh and uh, her hair was pretty much white but i've seen people who use um gray anyways a little bit of oozing purple uh, for that symbol on that belt thing a little bit of snake scales for the first potion that she has on her a little bit of royal cloak for the second little potion that she has on her and a little bit of fairs purple for the other uh, little potion that she has on her pouch now we're gonna be doing all the shining silver she's got lots of armor on but she also has all these nice details on her boots so we're gonna be doing that all over the little straps and stuff like that uh, and I just want to get back to the hair quickly so people have mentioned that you know if you want to do a nice light hair like white almost so I use that ghoul gray but I also put in a little bit of uh, painting medium from or paint medium sorry from the army painter I think it was like one dot in it just to like make it a little bit more uh, thin a little bit more opaque 
and to be able to bring it to that white almost and when later on with the wash it still keeps that white underneath and grayish tone to it looks really good anyways we're just gonna finish up her armor here before we move on to the next part of the painting which will be the washes and we're gonna be starting off with a um, soft tone so this has got a light brown to it I actually put a little bit of uh, wash medium in there just again to water it down a little bit and not make it too thick and not too dark and it gives it a great job to this miniature and then we do some blue tone on the sword because I noticed her sword had this like bluish tint to it so there you have it folks the elf she's painted and ready for the table I hope you're enjoying these videos please hit that like button and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button it's much appreciated I want to thank you guys for watching we'll catch you all in the next one